<coughs> hey folks, hello, hello, Gary Navarre again here, Grandpa Gary with his, his uh, <coughs> what do we call this, the pottery show? Boy, sure haven't seen much clay lately, have we? Well, here we go. See what I do here? That's tamarack. That's a dead tamarack I've been taking off these trees. <coughs> Let's see what I do with it. I think this will be better than uh, better than that balsam I was using. right about where we want it anyway. Alright, there we go. This is your... This is your ninja training for today, eh? Somebody said I should, uh... That's why I wore gloves this time. That's where I hurt myself before. Well, you see this little stuff here. Pretty much the machete takes care of. We cut that right there to length. I'm saving this for the camera. <clears throat> You might think it's kind of silly to do all this, but you know what? When you try to shove this through the stoke hole, you don't want these little nubs catching on you. Especially the tail part of the stick. I always take the stick from the heavy end. You see, when you're stoking, you're more con you got more control over it when you, uh, when you take it off this end here, see? <laughs> Do you like Charlie Chaplin? I like, uh... When I didn't have any clay, I like doing stuff like that. The factory, you know, one of my favorite bits I did once was... I come out of the men's room with a hunk of toilet paper <laughs> hung somewhere. Ta -da! Oh, you know what? Um, I got, uh, oh! Actually, that's where this stuff goes. That goes there. That goes here. There. Whoops, no, wait. Do that too. Some of that bark I saved in the <clears throat> dog food bag there. Some of it from the truck. Somebody said to keep it. Was it Lynn over there in wood kiln? For the clay form. Thanks, Lynn. He 
use that for throwing in the beginning of the fire and get a little bit of minerals in the ash. So we got that like that. Now this all gets hit with the chainsaw, see? I'm not going to bother Machete on that. Not much. Anyway, <clears throat> somebody said, get some help with this. Well, yeah, I'd like some. How much, uh, <laughs> how much would you pay for a workshop to come out here and have me show you how to cut wood? And I can't pay you. I think people pay good money to do this. On a weekend. Don't hurt yourself. Make sure you got Medicare and good supplemental. <laughs> I doubt if we're going to find any kids who want to do this. Young ones. Okay. There's some in Detroit I heard want to build a wood burning kiln. Some of those old arts and crafts students or new, there aren't too many old ones left. We'll go through that and sort it out for side stoking. Where are we here? Oh, almost done for today. Yesterday's stash. Sometimes, of 
Excuse me. <clears throat> now we do use these. Okay, so that's that for today. Oopsie. Oh no, there's more. So anyway, uh, take a break. Sort it by relative relative diameter. <coughs> so we can stoke sort of and see what we get. Might want the little stuff for blasting. Big stuff for holding. I'm getting hot, but are increasing too. What was that? All off in the truck? Anyway, it just looks neater too. I think Isn't it's supposed to look good. So we're getting quite a pile here. Thank you for watching, folks.